I wonder what this place would be like if, when I heard it was called the Stone Circle, it feels like these pillars are meant to mean something. They seem to have been erected with purpose, but I believe they predate even ancient Zemuria. They are quite simple. Someone simply split stones and stood them up. Zemurians. The ancient people who lived on orbital energy and then vanished. The tetracyclic towers in the sealed area beneath Gransel Castle are both Zemurian, right? Yeah, apparently. It's true this thing isn't remotely like those. Grandpa told me once that there's a really strong septian vein running beneath this area. He thought this place might have been important to our religion a really long time ago. Which means it's a good place for examining the flow of the septian vein. I get it. Where should we put the measuring instrument, though? Hmm, let's see. Here looks pretty solid, and it's not in the ruins. Direction is good. Estelle, it'll work great right here. Should we set it up? Okay, I'll start setting it up. Give me just a minute. All done. Oh, so this is what it looks like when it's all together? Wow. What's um this dish like thing? an antenna for broadcasting orbital waves called a parabolic antenna. It puts out really powerful orbital waves that can cover really long distances. It can even broadcast from inside a place like the Caldia Tunnel. Hmm, a most impressive tool. I don't recall seeing anything like this at the corner tool shop. Uh, well, I don't think it's for sale anywhere yet. It's one of Grandpa's inventions, though, so I bet the Central Factory will start selling them pretty soon. Hmm, lovely. I guess I'm too much of a country girl to appreciate how incredible it is. This thing will transmit earthquake info back to us though, right? Um, not yet. I haven't started it. Just need to flip the switch. <laughs> what the? Hmm, such a monstrous display. Son of a... They're after the quartz and the device. Only one thing to do. Shred them.
Oh boy, I think we got them all. Those were definitely the nastiest creepy sheep-like thingies I've ever fought. Those darn dirty calculating. Probably one of the new monsters Elnon was on about. That was scary. Tita, are you injured? If you get hurt, I'll be happy to treat you. Just let Big Brother Olivier know. I'm okay. You all protected me. More importantly, I need to flip the switch. Yay! Now it works! Good work, Tita. Isn't it just going to get attacked by crazy sheep things once we leave, though? Oh, it'll be okay. Once it's on, it actually repels monsters like the street lamps. Oh, okay. No worries, then. Alright, let's get the rest of them set up like this. Right. Oh, welcome, I see. Little Tita's with you. Yes, Miss Mal. Long time no see, Miss Mal. Hello, Estelle. It has been a while. You're looking more and more grown up every time I see you. You think so? Madam, thank you for your care the other day. Oh, I thought I recognized you. If it isn't Olivier, what brings you back so soon? Huh? I have my reasons. For now, I've been accompanying Estelle as a supporter. Do you, do you two know each other? We do. He stayed here not that long ago. He's the first customer we've ever had that played a lute in the baths. New place, same shtick. Typical. But of course, tis the sacred duty of all those dedicated to the arts. Time and location mean nothing to one who serves the goddess of beauty. Yeah, but playing your lute in the buff? And now that image is in my head. Ooh. <laughs> Come on, Estelle. Well, always good to see you again. How about staying for a while? We'd love to, but didn't you put in a request for a job? A job? Oh, that thing I contacted the guild about. That's the one. Something about a peeping Tom creeping about? That's right. If you got a minute, I'd like you to investigate immediately. Do you guys have time? Yeah. Let's get right to it. Apparently someone's been peeping on my guests. It's a recent thing, but I've heard tell from a number of my female guests in particular. I won't stand for it, so I contacted the guild. Peeping Tom's totally gross. When I find him, I'm gonna rearrange his face with my staff. What kind of specifics have you gotten from your guests? Did any of them see the criminal? No, nothing that clear. They've been reporting things like feeling someone's watching them or strange sounds. Might it only be a misunderstanding of some sort? I thought so too, at first. But like I said before, I keep getting those same reports again and again. At this point, I can't just toss it aside saying it's coincidence. That's certainly true, but it's kind of a problem. It's not even clear that this is the case, really. There's no way we can investigate properly without specifics. If it ain't clear, then we just gotta put it to the test. Not like we could make an arrest unless we caught them in the act anyway. Test? Put what to the test? That should be obvious. We're gonna take a bath. You want me to... be bait? To lure out the criminal? I, I don't really mind, I guess, but... Don't know if you'll be much bait, but you're all we got. Do the best you can. Well, excuse me for not being sexy. Do not be disheartened, fair Estelle. What you lack in seductiveness, you more than make up for in raw nubility. <laughs> Give me a break, even Tita's laughing at me. No, I wasn't laughing at you. I was just kind of happy. It's been a while since the two of us took a bath together. Sounds sweet enough, sure. But you do know this is a totally exploitative bait plan, right? Anyway, would you mind lending us your outdoor bath, ma'am? Yes, use it as you like. Thanks, Miss Mal. I guess we're really doing this. Yep, sure are. Have a good time. Hey, wait a sec. A good time? You're not coming? The hell are you on? Why do I have to go into the bath? The better question is, why wouldn't you? You've come this far and yet you're not going to bathe? Well, I won't stand for it. She has a point. Come now, there's no need to be shy. But sh shut up, I'm not embarrassed. Work comes first, and I ain't exactly what we need for this job. Oh, what nonsense. 
You've got nothing to worry about if you're a man, so man up and get your butt in the bath. To come to a hot springs and not take a bath? Pfft, I've never heard anything more ridiculous. What she said? Jeez, that's enough. I get it, I get it, I'll go in, okay? I just don't forget that this is a job, you guys. Yep, no problem on that point. Right, Tita? Yeah, no problem. Oh, oh no! Miss Mo, could you leave me a towel set? Oh, did you forget yours, Tita? Yeah, I didn't think I'd be taking a bath. And some shampoo, too, please? Wow, she doesn't mess around, does she? Not a care in the world. Ah, oh, it's so relaxing. Yep, outdoor baths are the best. I agree. I was also most charmed by the sights here. Oh, right. You stayed here, huh? Indeed, I soaked up quite a bit of Elmo's charms after the birthday celebrations. I invited Shara as well, but sadly she was busy. Whoa, you invited Shara? Um, Olivier, do you and Shara have a special kind of relationship? <laughs> I'll leave it to your imagination. However, fear not, now I am yours alone, little Tita. Hey, Olivier, the scary big brother over there is glaring at you. Yes, I can feel his hot gaze upon my being most keenly. Oh, perhaps he is lonely. Agate, would you like to join the conversation? Whatever. Don't forget the reason we came here. Don't let your guard down. He, yeah, I get that, Agate, but why did you leave your bandana on? Honestly, the way you look is kind of standoffish. <laughs> Whether I stand off or stand in, it's got nothing to do with you. I don't do anything without this on. It's true that everyone's free to do as they please, but... Do you wash your hair with that on? Kurt, use common sense, will you? Of course I take it off then! Thank goodness. <laughs> yeah. He does take it off. Uh, are you two idiots? What the hell do you think I am? I, I don't know, Agate. It seems really plausible for you. You seem like the type to do any crazy thing you set your mind to. Uh, y you know, that and this are... Huh? Why are you so quiet all of a sudden? <sighs> Looks like they're here. The peeping toms here? Estelle, you see that brush to the north? Check it out subtly so they don't notice. G got it. It does look like something's there. Yeah, most likely that's our peeping tom. But what should we do? Even if we wanted to try to catch him, we can't lay a finger on him from here. Yeah, someone needs to get out first and go around. Looks like that's our only choice. All right, Estelle and I will go behind him. Olivier, you draw the enemy's attention. Y yes. Uh, understood. Now uh, then, let's... Wait, what? What is it? Look, they're gonna run. Estelle, after him! G got it! Finally shown yourselves, huh? Let's teach him a lesson. I'm sorry, what?
Oh. Mm. Well then, I do say, that was quite a show. How about we do this though? Hmm? That's it then. Ah, I believe this settles things. I never thought they'd combine into one super creepy sheep. I doubt they'll come back now that we've bloodied their noses, but just to be sure. Next time you go there, I'll make sure you ain't breathing when you leave. Now get out of here! My, my. So the Peeping Tom turned out to be monsters. We can't be absolutely sure, but it's very likely. We taught him a hard lesson though, so I don't think they'll bother you again. One or two of those guys, I understand. But don't you think it's a little weird that so many were coming? It's very odd indeed. This is the first time we've had such a thing happen. Something must have happened. Maybe it has something to do with the earthquakes. Earthquakes? I mean, sometimes monsters go a bit wild because of them. Maybe their habitat got messed up. It's certainly believable. Believable as it is, there's not much we can do about a natural disaster. If they show up again, I'll just have to give the guild a ring. Yeah, go for it. I'm always up for a chance to relax in your bath. Well, if we're gonna come for a soak, I'd rather do it off the clock. You guys are welcome in the baths anytime, on the job or not. I owe you for today. If anything comes up, you'll be the first I call. Yeah, later. Bye, Miss Mal. You're right, please, please. to oh, me. Okay. 